Hi, and welcome to Makeup by Mon. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me video, so let's get started. I've already uh, primed my face with the Benefit Professional, and I've already done my foundation with the Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal Foundation. And I've also done my concealer with the NYX HD Concealer in the shade beige, and used my Beauty Blender to do all those things. And right now I have a lip treatment on. I have the Sugar Rose Fresh um, Lip Balm. So I have a new um, makeup haul that I've gotten, and Hold Look was having a sale on the balm products, and so I got quite a few things just to try them out, see if I like them. I've seen the brand in quite a few places. Kohl's has it um, has the whole line, and then they also sell it online, and then occasionally. I'll see like flashlight flash sites selling them and so I was really curious to try them so I got quite a few products and I wanted to try them out today and one of them is called the nude tude and it is their eyeshadow palette and I think it retails for under $40 and like I said they sell it at Kohl's and also on their website and it seems to be like a dupe for the naked palettes and I have the naked two palette so I wanted to see um, how it compared for a little more affordable option and something that I can find um, in my local department store. So the packaging is super cute. It has these like little pinup girls and then it kind of has like their body is the two, oh, their body is the two shadows, which I think is kind of cool. And there's a really nice selection of shimmer and mattes, very similar to the Naked palette. And so I'm curious to try that. It also has a really nice mirror, pretty big. And it comes with a double-ended brush. Um, so I don't know if I'll use this, but it's really nice. So there's quite a few matte shades and quite a few shimmer shades. And a lot of them seem to be rose gold or deep copper gold. There's a few pinks in there. So what um, I'm going to put this on with is I also got their eyeshadow primer and it's called Put a Lid on It. I've heard really good things about it and the packaging is just so cute. I wanted to keep it in the packaging so I could show you what it looked like. And so I'm curious to try this. I am not loyal to any specific eyeshadow primer. So I have a few favorites, but I really like trying them. So the consistency feels really similar to the... Um, Primer Potion by Urban Decay. It's a little more liquidy than the Urban Decay one. Oh, I've also already done my eyebrows with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm actually trying to grow them out because I've said this in a few videos, but I feel like when I got my eyebrows started last time, they just took a little more than I was willing. And so I've been just growing them out and not going to get them done or anything just to see if it helps. So I put that all over the lid. It went on really liquidy, but it dries pretty fast. Um, so I don't really mind the consistency too much. And I do like the applicator that it's um, pointed tip because you won't get too much product on your finger. So, so far I like that. And I'm going to use also a Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow, and it is in 25 Bad to the Bronze. So I just wanted to use this kind of like um, a base a little bit, just so I could adhere the colors a little better. And I really like these gold shades in this Nude Tude palette. So I wanted to get something that could liven it up and really make the colors pop. And I love these color tattoos. I just think that they are, the consistency is so nice and they stay all day. So it's a really good product if you don't really have too much time to put on any eyeshadow but you really want something. I can just apply it with my finger. I've actually never applied it with a brush but I've seen some tutorials done where it's been applied with a brush and it seems to go on nicely like that as well. I usually use my ring finger. And so 
that's just kind of giving it a little bit of pop. And I've also gotten a new Real Techniques brush. So this is their Bold Metal Collection brush and it's the brush 201. It's one of their crease brushes. And so I'm really excited to use this. I just got this yesterday. They're a little pricey, definitely more pricey than the Real Techniques brushes, the normal ones. And I just love the Real Techniques ones. I have pretty much all of them, pretty much all of them, except uh, some of the eyeshadow brushes are a little hard to find. They're usually sold out. So I only have one of those, but everything else, setting brush, foundation brush, powder brush, expert face brush, um, stippling brush, lip brush, I have a lot of them. I really like them. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Sultry, and it's this really pretty brownie color. Ooh, that got a lot of product. So the thing about this brush is, definitely gets quite a bit on the brush. I watched a tutorial of this brush being used, and they said that the way, because the way the brush is made, it makes getting right up in that crease really easy. Um, the brush is really dense, and the hairs are a little different than the Real Techniques ones. And I think that these are just like the luxury version, you know, of their more affordable brushes. But it really did define quite a bit. I like that so far. So I'm gonna get more of this same shade, Sultry, from the Nude Tude palette by The Balm. And I'm just putting it right there in the crease. And going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. I like this brush so far. There's, um, I think four total brushes in their eyeshadow brush collection. And there's, I believe four other brushes. So it's around eight to 10 brushes total. They're really hard to find right now in Ulta though, and they're exclusively to Ulta. So if you have trouble finding them, it might be just because they're sold out. So just keep an eye out. That's what the lady at Ulta told me yesterday. I'm using another Real Techniques. I'm using the Dome Shadow Brush. And I'm gonna get this color seductive and it's this really pretty gold shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna pack it all over the lid. It's very pretty, very pigmented, very similar to, this feels a lot like um, one of the naked shades, I think, um, can't think of what it's called. Um, one of their really, really pretty gold shades. But I am going to do a one brand kind of spotlight. And that's why I bought so much balm products because I wanted to try them. And I tried to get a product um, from each category of face. Like I got eyes, I got blush, I got primer, I got a highlight, I got a lipstick. Um, so I just tried to get lots of different things that I could really see the brand as a whole and see if I like their products. I've heard really great things about their um, Mary Luminizer, and I hear it's just like literally the best highlight ever. So I was really curious to try that, and Hot Look normally sells the products for like half off, so I couldn't pass it up because I just thought normally if a product is... 20 to 30 dollars and I can find it for 10 to 15 like I am sold so I am gonna grab a little bit of I'm using a professional eyeshadow brush by elf one of the dollar ones I'm gonna grab just a little bit of this color it's called sleek and it's a really dark dark brown very dark and I'm gonna grab that and I'm just gonna put it right in the corner and just kind of blend. I'm going for like a coppery, smoky eye. I'm just getting right in there, blending it in with that original color I did, which was sultry, that really pretty kind of chocolate brown. So I'm just going right in there. 
and just giving it just a little bit more definition. I'm gonna get more of that color sleek and just go do the same thing. I kind of like to make the letter V right on the edge of my eye and then just blend it inward and then do the same thing. So, I'm going to grab that Real Techniques brush again. I haven't put anything on it except what was on it originally. And I'm just going to go back and forth. And really make sure that everything is nice and blended. Um, these eyeshadows are super pigmented. Very pigmented. I'm gonna grab a clean eye defining brush. It's one of the bamboo ones from Ion Beauty and I'm just going to, if there's nothing on this brush, I'm just going back and forth and making sure that everything is blended and there's no harsh lines anywhere. And then I am going to grab a little bit of the color Stand Offish. It's this really pretty champagne pink. And I'm just going to get it on my pinky and put it right in the corner of my eye right there. I feel like it gives a really nice bright, brightens it up right there. And then I'm going to grab another eyeshadow brush. Just gonna grab my blending eye brush. And I'm gonna get it a little bit of the same color, that standoffish, kind of champagne-y pink. And I'm gonna use that as my highlight right underneath the brow bone. Just going back and forth. Kind of going a little bit lower to get right in there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye right underneath the eyebrow, back and forth, and then just kind of blending it down. I really like these eyeshadows. I feel like the color payoff is pretty nice. And I like that Real Techniques brush too. I feel like it really did make blending really easy. So I'm gonna get that Real Techniques brush one more time. I'm gonna put it back in Sultry, that original color. And I'm gonna try this. I saw this on the tutorial I watched to use this tool and I'm just going to get right on the bottom lid right against the eye right on my lash line and just go back and forth just to get a little color down there so it gave just a little bit of definition and I think I just want to do one more thing I want to grab my e.l.f defining brush. It's the one that is slanted. And I'm going to get a little bit of that sleek, which is that really dark chocolate brown that we did. And I'm just going to go right along the lash line. I just want a little bit more definition. I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm going to go right to where my eye, my eyeball is, like the pupil. I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And I feel like that really gives a nice definition without using an eyeliner. So I will be using an eyeliner though. I'm gonna use my Revlon Color Stay in the color black. I'm just gonna tight line. So I always feel like this is really hard and hopefully I'm in the frame. I just, oh, it's like drives me bananas. It's really hard to do. Uh, but I feel like it makes a difference. <laughs> And I'm gonna do this other eye. I'm sure my eyes are going back and forth like The Exorcist. So, <laughs> so I apologize. And then I am going to grab a little bit of Cabana Boy. So the packaging I just love. And this is also by The Balm. It's a shadow and a blush. The packaging is just beautiful. It has a nice size mirror too. And it's a really pretty kind of corally pink. I. I mean, to me on this, it looks almost like a dupe for the NARS blush that I've been loving, Orgasm. I'm using a Real Techniques Multitask brush. 
I'm just going to grab it and put it right on the apples on my cheeks. Ooh, that's very pretty. It's matte, doesn't have any shimmer to it. But very pretty and a little goes a long way. I probably grabbed a little too much. I got a little heavy handed. But it's beautiful. I really like it. Wow, that's nice. I don't I wonder how it would be as a shadow. I'm sure it would be just as nice. All right, so then I am going to grab a little bit of the Mary Luminizer highlighter, also by The Balm. And this packaging, I think is my favorite packaging that they have. It's like a cute pinup girl that's like taking a mug shot and it's just beautiful. There's two of them. Um, there's two different kinds. There's the Mary Luminizer and I think the Betty Luminizer. I'm using this with a setting brush Real Techniques, because I actually don't have a highlighting brush. And I'm just putting it right above where I put my, that's beautiful. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's very soft, right above where I put my blush. And then I'm just gonna put it down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's so. And right underneath my lip. That is really nice. I like that a lot. And then I'm going to grab my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Last step for face products. And I'm using that same Real Techniques multitask brush. I'm just putting it right under my blush. Oh, I feel like I went a little too heavy handed on this side. Not so much on the other side. I'll make it work. So right underneath that blush, making a three, going down beneath my chin. And then I'm gonna go back up to the top of my forehead, just where the sun would hit, and right along the edges. And then the last step is my lips. So I've gotten a Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Pure Hollywood and heard great things about this. It took a really long time to get here because they only sell it at Macy's that I've seen. They might sell it at Sephora, but um, I've only seen it at Macy's and I used a Macy's gift card. This came, like I ordered it during Christmas time and it just came a few weeks ago because it's been back ordered because the launch happened re pretty recently. I'm gonna use it with the Lip Cheat Charlotte Tilbury in the color Pillow Talk. And I'm just gonna line line everything inward too. I love this product. It's just beautiful and definitely worth the price tag. If I could suggest one luxury item to you, it would be the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in any color that you like. So this is super, super, super pink. It's nude. Not gonna use a ton. I'm trying to go light handed on it. Cause it 100% looks like the color that's on the tube. And then I'm just gonna use my finger just to thin it out a little bit. And I'm gonna see how long it stays. The reviews that I've read, stay, it says it stays pretty long. So I'm really excited to try that. Oh, forgot one thing, oh no. I forgot to do my mascara, so I'm gonna do that off camera, but I'm gonna use the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. So I'll do that last, but before I do that and say goodbye, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Setting Spray. opened my mouth a little bit and got all up in there. So that is my final look. And thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching Makeup I'm On. Bye.